You're listening to MySoccerShow.com with your host, Tristan Patterson. All soccer, all the time. NWA Anarchy Wrestling. Professional wrestling promotion based in Cornelia, Georgia. And promoting events throughout North Georgia. The broadcasting team of 10, letter E, period D. And John, the Body Johnson. Check out new TV episodes on the AMG Network as well as the Wrestle Network. NWA and our professional wrestling. Check us out on Facebook as well as www.nwaanarchy.net. TV tapings twice a month. See such stars as Slim J, Shadow Jackson, Seven, Jeff G, Bailey, Brody Ray Chase, and much, much more. Log on right now to nwaanarchy.net. And it's all a Another NWA Anarchy Pro Wrestling Promotion. Sweepingfriends.com, a proud supporter of Myrtle Beach FC. At Physicians Weight Loss Center, we're all about helping you learn to eat better. When you eat better, remarkable things happen. We've seen our clients lose weight, but also gradually reduce their medications such as insulin and blood pressure medicine while increasing their self-esteem. Physicians Weight Loss Center on the Grand Strand has been helping thousands of people for almost 26 years, and we're with you every pound of the way. At Physicians Weight Loss Center, we offer you hope and encouragement, along with a written guarantee that you will lose at least, on average, three pounds a week. We never ask you to eat foods you don't like, and you'll have the menus right in front of you, with your calories and carbs already counted for you. Physicians Weight Loss Center. Call for a free consultation. 843-293-9333. We're ready now, if you are. Lose weight? Want to start the new year right? Then call Physicians Weight Loss Center of Myrtle Beach for a free initial consultation. 843-293-9333. Physicians Weight Loss Center of Myrtle Beach. Proud sponsor of Myrtle Beach FC. Welcome to MySoccerShow.com, brought to you by MySoccerUSA.com, the most beautiful game. Now you run the show. Sign up today. And now, live from our studios on the Grand Strand, your host, Tristan Patterson. I am your host, Tristan Patterson, and uh, welcome to another edition of MySoccerShow.com, a very, very special edition because we have the brand new head coach of Myrtle Beach FC with us, Patrick O'Leary. Uh, uh, am, I, am I saying that right, Patrick? Am I, am I getting the name right? Yes, you're trying, you're trying. It's Patrick O'Leary. <laughs> you're there. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I know to say it. I, I've said it all day long. I've been so excited about it. Been been talking about you to everybody in the soccer community. I know I've said it right, but I get on the air, and, and I always mess up the names. I, I, it, it's just the way it works, man. People mess up my first name. We get your, your last name wrong. It's okay. So, uh, so, so Patrick, you you are the new head coach of Myrtle Beach FC, the newest team in uh, the South Region of the NPSL. Um, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very, very good. I'm feeling very excited and humbled about this new opportunity. You know, I tell you right now, I can't wait to get started. We have tryouts coming up in in January. I, I tell you, man. It's going to be fun, and um, I'm definitely ready for the ride. Yeah, it's going to be fun and exciting to, to see, you know, something grow from nothing. And, you know, Patrick, you, you were there for the beginning of Charleston, so you've kind of seen uh, you've kind of seen where, how, you know, how clubs start and, and all that stuff. So you've got to kind of – but, you know, there, there's a lot of folks out there in the Grand Strand who may not remember your name. And, and so we need to tell them where you started from. Your, your accent's not from here originally, from the from South Carolina. So, where, so where, where, so where are you from? From originally? Originally, I'm from Nigeria, and um, it's on the west coast of Africa. Um, about 20 years ago, um, I came to the United States on um, on soccer scholarship to play at Carson Newman College out there in Jefferson City, Tennessee. Uh, while I was there, I was two-time All-American, and um, right after I graduated. I heard about the Charleston Barry having tryouts here in Charleston, and I came over for the tryouts during my spring break. 
Really? So, so, so you, as a young man, you decided, hey, I, I you know, I, I'm on, I'm on spring break. Most guys are going out and, and partying. You decide in Carson Newman, for the folks who don't know, that's in Tennessee. So you decided yeah. to take the journey all the way to Charleston, South Carolina, and uh, and and ended up trying out for the Charleston Battery. Yes, I did. That was what I did during my spring break. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you weren't the party animal. You were the soccer. You were focused on soccer, deadlocked on soccer, huh? You know it. I was focused all the way through, all the way through. <laughs> so, yes. so what happened when you when you show up? You you're 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 a young what twenty something year old man, and and you show up at Charleston uh, Battery tryouts. What, what what took place? I tell you, it was a total different ball game. You know. I was um, trying out with a couple of ex-professionals, you know, players that have been in the game longer than I was. But uh, one good thing was I was um, fit enough. I competed very, very well. At the end of the tryout, you know, I just I just didn't know. I didn't know how I did. You know, I was like, oh, God, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to get a call back or not. All the coach at that time said was, well, thank you very much. We'll be in contact with you. Right. So I waited, went back to school after spring break, went back to school, you know, and, um, one week passed, two weeks passed, no phone call. Three weeks passed, no phone call. The third week, I got a phone call from the coach. He said, hey, can I speak to Patrick O'Leary? I said, yeah, you're speaking to him. He said, you know what? Are you ready to move to Charleston and play for us? I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> he said, move to Charleston and play. He said, I said, yeah. I said, sure, I'm ready. When I graduate, I'm coming. Hmm. So that was how I made this word. And that was how I was to play for the Charleston Battery. Wow, wow. Yes. So you... Yes. And- and you had a, you had a, a, you know, well, soon you get to be that coach who gets to tell that young man, uh, hey, good job, we'll uh, we'll be in touch. And you get to, you, now you get to make them wait a week or two, right? Exactly, just one week. <laughs> one week is enough, you know. <laughs> one week, one week is enough. That's right. You know? That's right. Well, yeah. well, you know, you went on to have a have a, a great career for Charleston. Uh, you played for for several different teams in your career, and uh, you know, you played for Charleston, New England Revolution. Uh, I guess you were drafted by New England uh, in the MLS, uh, the early years of the MLS, and uh, yeah. you went on to play it. In uh, you were selected to the Nigerian national team in the, I guess, before all this too, right? Yes, uh, actually, I was selected to the Nigerian on the 17 and the on the 21 national team growing up in Nigeria. Gotcha. And really, that was how I got my experience and exposure in playing the game. And um, and that's one of the opportunities that I get. And that was one of the opportunities that led me to come to the United States to play and to go to school. Gotcha, gotcha. Actually. Was it when you when you got to Tennessee and then you got to South Carolina for you, you know, as a as a young man and in his in his I guess your early twenties, right? You know, were you was it a was it a difference? Was it a major difference? Was it a kind of a, a, a shock not only not only, you know, culturally but but also uh the way soccer's played is completely different too, right? Yeah, the way soccer sports was completely different, especially, I mean, we're looking at in the early 90s. It was completely different. It was, um, you know, it wasn't as technical as it is right now, but but it was very, very physical. And soccer has been, a, I mean, soccer is a physical game in this country. If you want to play soccer in this country, you have to be physically, physically fit. Absolutely. And, and thank, thank goodness I was. I, I, at that time, I was as fit as well. <laughs> and, and you're yeah. still fit now. You, you you look great, and you're you're uh, you're going to be able to keep up with those young guys out there on the on the Myrtle Beach pitch, right? Uh, I think they're going they're, they're going to have to keep up with me over that. <laughs> <laughs> per- per- perfect. And and you know, hey, you 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 actually played uh, at Myrtle Beach years ago when the Myrtle Beach, uh, uh, what were they called? The Myrtle Beach, uh, sea dogs were in, uh, in, in your league. You actually played with Charleston against Myrtle Beach, right? Yes, we did. We came down to Myrtle Beach and played against the team. And, um, and I think, um, let me see if I could remember. I think Charleston Barry won the game. And, 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 I could remember and you know, you, you were, you're a striker. So you're up there up front and you're a pro- prolific goal scorer. So you probably scored a couple goals on the Myrtle Beach team back in the day. Probably did. I can't remember. I can go back and look at the stats. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> well, well, you had a you had a great. Yeah, I'm looking at stats now. You had a a tremendous '96 season, 1996, where you were uh, uh, 20. That was a championship year for Charleston, right? Yes, that was the first year the Charleston Battery won the USISL championship. In 1996, and you were the yes, leading you goal scorer. 26 games played, 27 goals, six to six, six assists. 
you can't beat those stats for uh, for a striker, huh? No, you can't beat that. That <laughs> stats will live forever. That, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that, that's a that's a gr- that's a good average. Uh, uh, one a game and, and a couple assists and. Uh, and and, yeah. and a championship season. So, Patrick, I see on here there is a a, a nickname for you. Do uh, you want to tell the folks what your nickname was when you were playing? I want to play. My nickname was called um, the Thunder. Yes, the <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> you, you know what? You know what? You are bringing back old memories. I'm loving this. I'm I, loving see, this. You're, you're 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 gonna have to uh, you're gonna we're gonna have to keep you off of the off the field. Uh, so this, so you can just, you can train the guys. You're gonna be wanting to, to suit up and play, huh? Well, every now and then, but um, <laughs> that will be secondary. The most important thing is to get these boys ready to go, That's get right. our team in order, you know, to get a winning team on the field. That's the most important thing. And um, once we do that, once we start winning some games, Perfect. then I can be stepping on the field every now and then, every now and then to show the boys what time it is. You know? <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. So the the, the, the Thunder nickname, I mean, it, uh, how'd that come about? I mean, did it just did it happen in Charleston? Did it happen in, in, in college? Actually, it happened in Charleston. You know, it was because of my explosive speed up front when I play. One of my teammates said, man, you run like the Thunder. I said, you strike like the Thunder. I said, hey, is that my nickname? I said, yeah, from now you are the Thunder. <laughs> and right from then, I became the Thunder. <laughs> I, 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 I like it. And, and so, you, you know, you, so you end up in Charleston. You're there for, for several years, and... Uh, you become one of the most uh, one of the most prolific goal scorers in, in Charleston Battery history, and you know that's where you you've taken up residence. You're you're, you're a Charleston native now. What 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 really made you you decide to stay in Charleston when once you once you got there? Well, one of the reasons was um, because when I was playing professionally, when I was playing professionally, I stayed. I lived. Um, I played longer in Charleston. I played seven years for the Charleston Battery. And um, right after then, I met my wife in Charleston, and I still put in Charleston. That's it. it, it it's it's always a lady. The story always comes back to a, to a to a, <laughs> a, a pretty lady that always keeps us 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 men grounded, especially us sports guys. We always get a pretty lady to keep us grounded. <laughs> Amen. That's what it is. <laughs> for the for the folks listening out there, you're listening to mysoccershow.com dot com with your host Tristan Patterson, uh, with our special guest, the new head coach of Myrtle Beach FC, Patrick. Uh, Ola Leary, right? Yes, you got there it. There we go. We got, got it this time. I need some. I need some applause over the over the air for yes, that. Yes, yes, right here. You got it, <laughs> Patrick. We're gonna go to a quick break. We're gonna come back. When we come back, we're gonna talk to you about the future of Myrtle Beach uh, soccer in Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach FC, and uh, a little bit more about you personally and 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 uh, what you've been in, involved in and and uh, with youth and and uh, youth programs and camps and all that good stuff. So stick with us. Uh, you're listening to My Soccer Show on MySoccerShow.com with your host Tristan. Patterson. Hey folks, Tristan Patterson here from MySoccerShow.com. I hope you're enjoying the show. I just wanted to take a second to tell you about my friend Tony Anderson's brand new book he's got. You can find his book at FootballSoccerFocus.com slash Soccer Tips. The name of the book is Soccer and Football Coaching Tips, the ultimate guide for anyone who plays, watches, and loves the beautiful game. You can actually go to our website at MySoccerShow.com, click on the sponsors page, and click uh, for Tony's new book. Brand new book, you got to check it out so that you too can be screaming. I'm ready. How you feeling, mate? Number 15, Stars and Stripes, baby. He's ready. What if you found a Rocky who played soccer? I knew the biggest barrier to entry with Jay would be being American. I know what our mentality is like in this country. The percentage of lads that we take in to actually make it in the Premiership is probably less than 1%. We thought Jay was crazy going to England. Number five, the big scorer, Jay Demerit, a forward. What if an unheralded American tried to fight his way into big-time English football? When I first came to Europe, I think I had about $1,800. He was so raw. He was... Very, very green. And I used to pretend like these were players. So I used to kind of take the ball and I would like kind of, and then I'd kick around it. It was funny because Jay was subbed the first, like second division Sunday league. I knew that he was struggling because he came back after the first year with no money to his name. 
What if determination could overpower expectation? Everyone was talking about a couple of forwards we had, and I said, who's the centre half? We couldn't believe what we were seeing. It is a match worth millions of pounds for a place in the Premiership. He said to me, take as many pitches as you can, because I might never be here again. What if he stood one step away from the promised land? Ashley Young delivers! You're listening to MySoccerShow.com with your host, Tristan Patterson. All soccer, all the time. And you're back with My Soccer Show on MySoccerShow.com with your host, Tristan Patterson, and our wonderful guest, the new head coach of Myrtle Beach FC, Patrick O'Leary. Uh, I'm saying your name right, and I'm saying it with head coach in front of it. Does that make you excited or what? I'm very excited. Um, it's just like what I said earlier. I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm humbled, and I'm honored to be the head coach and the first head coach of the Myrtle Beach FC. It's, yes. it's, it's going to be a fun ride. You know, Myrtle Beach is, is a great area with wonderful people. You know, the, the season for, the, uh, for Myrtle Beach and for the NPSL is during the summer, which means there are going to be a lot of people in the Myrtle Beach area uh, come, come May, June, July, and, and August for, uh, for, for games. So, you know, the, the, big, uh, the big next step uh, for Myrtle Beach FC, though, is January uh, when tryouts happen. And, and, you know, can you tell us what do you kind of look for, though, Patrick, when you're out there and you're, look, you're scouting players or you're talking to a player? What do you, what do you kind of look for first when you're, when you're getting to uh, uh, try to figure out who, who you would want on your team? Well, um, first and foremost, I have a um, like a formation in mind, a formation that I will want my club, a formation that I want my team to play. And when I go out there scouting for players during tryouts, I'm looking for the players that will fit right into the formation that we want to play. And, exactly. and so, you, so you look for for you got a formation that you want to, to run with your club, and you. You look for players like that. Is there, you know, is there a certain attitude? Is there, you know, I, I've been out there and seen some some quality quality players, and I've talked about it on the show before in Myrtle Beach and, and, and all around, really, and all across the world where I, you know I've traveled and seen soccer players, and a lot yeah. of, a lot of times it, it seems like folks are and, and uh, you know you kind of want that guy who knows he's good, <laughs> but there's guys who. Uh, have an attitude about them. You know, are you looking for the? Are you looking for the guys who've got the kind of swagger to be on your team, or, or are you looking for guys who who've got the right attitude to fit to uh, to be able to to listen, take direction, and 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 move forward and, and see your see your vision as head coach? Yeah, you know, there's nothing wrong with having an attitude, Tristan. You know, you just need to have the right attitude that fits into our squad. You right. know, there's, there's nothing wrong with wanting to score goals. I think that's great. Right. You know. Forwards are known to have attitudes. That's great. You know, there's no problem with that. But that, that attitude must be the attitude that fits into our formation, an attitude that wants to score goals and make us victorious. Okay? A- a- absolutely. And, and victories are, are what's most important uh, coming up here, you know, in, in the summer of 2012, right? Well, we are, I mean, we're a professional ball club here. We have to produce. It's all about the results. It's all about the winning. You know, and we're going to go out there and get the players that wants to win for us, and that's what we're all about. At the end of the day, we want to be victorious, so we want to keep our fans with us. Absolutely, and, and you know, for the folks listening out there who, who want to know more about Patrick O'Leary, uh, they can go on to MySoccer, uh, MySoccerUSA.com, and they can yes. check out all information. I believe uh, you know, at, at the time of this, uh, this broadcast that all the information will be up there on the website, MySoccerUSA.com, all the information about the new, brand-new head coach, who, uh, who who's coming into a, you know an excellent position? You said you were there at the beginning of the Charleston Battery, and you get to kind of kind of have fun and do it again. You get to start from scratch, huh? Exactly, start from scratch. I knew exactly what it is and how to build a brand new club because I was part of it with the Charleston Battery. Absolutely, it's one step. It's one step at a time. And we're gonna do the same thing in Myrtle Beach FC. And and you know, you and I talked not long ago about this this opportunity you had, and, and you kind of said, you know, progress every day. Progress every day was kind of your your motto on on how to build the right 
uh, club for the future, right? It's one step at a time, marching forward, progress every day. <laughs> that is the motto. Absolutely. Yes, and Patrick, so what have you been doing since your, your playing days ended? Uh, what have you been doing since then? What, what kind of uh, soccer work have you been doing? Well, I've been coaching in the, in the Charleston community. I've coached at every level. I've assisted at the Charleston Battery. I've coached um, the older boys and the older girls, won several championships for the Charleston Youth Soccer Club. And I've been around coaching for the past 15, 16 years um, in the Charleston area and also in South Carolina as a whole. So, yes. so, you, so, you, so you've been doing it, and so this is kind of the next prog- next step, the next uh, uh, progression in your coaching career so to go up to this next level, MPSL, and, and be the, the man, the head coach. And, uh, and you're, and you're going to take that opportunity and, and run with it, right? Amen. We're taking this opportunity on running with it. And we're taking um, the Mother Beach FC. We're putting the Mother Beach FC in the limelight. And we're taking this club to the next level all the way. Yes. Absolutely. Perfect. And and there's going to be – we're going to do this again, Patrick. We're going to get you on the show again. We're going to talk uh, – when we get closer to the tryout time, we're going to uh, we're obviously promote the tryouts. And we'll talk on the air on MySoccerShow.com. We'll talk all about the tryouts. And, uh, and, and you'll actually be in the Myrtle Beach – area this thursday the uh the 17th uh visiting some uh, some of our myrtle beach sponsor myrtle beach fc sponsors and uh, and talking to some folks uh yes i'll be coming into town definitely yeah definitely absolutely so so the folks who, who want to get in touch with us they go to the website mysoccerusa.com they can get in touch they can uh they can meet up with patrick and i'm sure we'll sure myrtle beach fc will have plenty of events to to meet patrick and and, and uh and the tryouts are in january can't wait for that patrick thank you so much for being on with us do you want to leave the fans with uh, one more comment about myrtle beach fc well, the Mother Beach FC is in town. Come and watch us. <laughs> uh, we're ready to win. We're ready, we're ready to the club to the next level. That's what it's all about. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much, Patrick, for being on, and we'll do this again. Folks, you've been listening to a very special edition of MySoccerShow.com with your host, Tristan Patterson, brought to you by MySoccerUSA.com. We'll join, join us next time when we have director Nick Lewis of the Jay Demerit story, the uh, Rise and Shine, the Jay Demerit story on Nick Lewis next week. It'll be a great show. Thanks for joining us.